I'm uh, Dr. Brian Chambers. I'm an uh, engineering team leader here for technical services and uh, also a research engineer, as we call it. Honeywell Corrosion Solutions is a, a small division within Honeywell. Uh, we are formerly of the uh, what's called Intercore, which is a long-standing uh, oil and gas uh, services company for looking at materials evaluation, uh, mainly for corrosion and environmental cracking in uh, what's known as the upstream and downstream uh, part of the oil and gas sector. The, the role we have for sour gas testing comes from the need of our clients in the upstream and downstream industries where hydrogen sulfide is one of the, the primary factors as far as uh, corrosion and materials degradation issues. Uh, you know, there are a lot of other issues, but as far as uh, the extreme environmental cracking issues they face, hydrogen sulfide is often the, the primary bad actor. And so it's necessary for us to deal with hydrogen sulfide and be an expert in uh, safely handling it and uh, accurately handling it to, to create uh, simulations of the actual field conditions uh, to, in order to con conduct the best laboratory tests possible and give our clients uh, you know, reasonable and, and accurate answers to their questions. Will their materials survive in the, the conditions they're interested in? So acidizing is a, an upstream uh, oil and gas production technique where they, they flow uh, mineral acids and organic acids at fairly high concentrations, you know, 10, 15 percent acid, uh, down the, the production tubular that's uh, basically been reversed. So it's now flowing down into the, the reservoir rather than producing, well, uh, you know, fluids up from the reservoir. Um, so the acidizing um, obviously comes with the, the high corrosivity that's due from the uh, mineral acids being present, which are extremely aggressive to almost all uh, uh, metals that are present in, in the upstream production. So the, the oil and gas industry uh, needs to understand the uh, implications of the acidizing on the, the metallurgy present because if they have uh, you know, a failure due to um, either extreme corrosion or environmental cracking, they can lose their, you know, either their, their tools that are going down hole or the actual uh, production tubular and the loss of either of those things can mean millions, if not, you know, larger sums of money uh, over time, not to mention the, the safety implications of, uh, you know, having to shut in the well dur during operation. So it's very important for them to understand uh, how often they can do these acidizing treatments and what the implications are for the particular uh, well materials they, they're using in that particular field. We ran a couple tests. The, the more relevant test we ran was in uh, a high temperature, so 450 degrees Fahrenheit with uh, hydrochloric acid and acetic acid uh, with uh, sour gas, so with uh, uh, one atmosphere of hydrogen sulfide present. And so this is a you know, very, very extreme environment. This is a simulation of uh, you know, ultra deep well acidizing. And uh, the way we, we saw the results, you know, every other alloy experienced either uh, complete dissolution of the coupons or, you know, extreme loss in the, the range of, you know, uh, double digit inches per year corrosion rates, which are just extreme. You know, you're losing, you know, over half the coupon in, a, in an eight hour exposure. And then we had uh, the tantalum, obviously the tantaline autoclave, but we also had tantaline coupons so we could get actual uh, weight loss corrosion measurements. And the weight loss we saw was actually negative because what we were seeing was some uh, plating out of the, you know, other ions that had been imparted to the solution from the corrosion. So we have, you know, negative weight loss on our tantaline coupons indicating, you know, zero corrosion rate. So if you're under 2,000 mils per year, you're considered to be in, in pretty good shape as far as the actual uh, use of these things in the field. What we saw in our 450 degree test with the mineral acid and the H2S present is where corrosion rates were, uh, you know, uh, an order of magnitude higher than that. So we were seeing, um, you know, complete dissolution of our titanium alloys, which uh, translated into at least, you know, 15,000 mils per year. The C276 was corroding at several thousand mils per year. The hybrid BC1 was the same situation. So uh, the, the corrosion rate of all the other alloys uh, was totally unacceptable, whereas the, the tantalum surface treatment uh, provided effectively zero corrosion rate. There was nothing we could measure, no weight loss.
Uh, we were pleasantly surprised uh, with the results. I think uh, we were a little shocked at the, the dissolution rates of the titanium alloys. We, we went into this test not, not understanding what would really happen. There's no published data at these temperatures for a lot of these alloys. So this is uh, kind of a, a step out in, in doing acidizing tests on ultra deep well conditions. We're sort of pioneering the field as we go along in terms of the corrosion tests for this uh, application. So we were, we were surprised at the, the results in terms of the alloys that dissolved. We were pleasantly surprised that the, the tantalum alloy uh, held up. So we saw you know, no, no attack on our, uh, either the, the coupons or, thankfully, uh, all the equipment we used. So the, the autoclave and then all of the associated uh, plumbing. We've seen in the, the research we've recently done uh, with Tantaline that uh, you know, corrosion rates, even of the most uh, highly corrosion resistant alloys used in the oil, oil and gas production, uh, are, are they're just extremely susceptible to the, uh, the, the corrosion due to the high temperature uh, acidizing treatments that would be used in extremely deep wells. Uh, I think we've demonstrated that for you know, oil and gas production that they should be considering this, especially for uh, you know, uh, tubing and tools that are going to see high temperature acid service. We've, we've successfully demonstrated that uh, when other alloys uh, don't stand a chance in the environment, the, the tantalum surface treatment uh, performs beautifully.